the complete control of the heaven and the human free will. The heaven's plan could not be manifested in the material world if there is no plan the heaven has prepared in advance for the purpose. The will of the heaven can be unfolded in the material world only when there is a path the heaven has pre-planned. A galaxy has its evolutionary roadmap that has been prepared by the heaven prior to its birth. From its birth, a sun also has its evolutionary roadmap that has been prepared by the heaven. Each planet has its own evolutionary roadmap from the moment it is born, which has been prepared by the heaven. Likewise, every spirit soul at birth has its own unique evolutionary roadmap prepared by the heaven. The heaven is devoting a great deal of energy to accomplish the path it has pre-planned. A series of processes the heaven implements in order to execute the path it has pre-planned without a single error is called the complete control of the heaven. The complete control of the heaven is the way the heaven works so that the will of the Creator can be manifested perfectly in the material world. The complete control of the heaven is the way the heaven works to allow the energy of the non-material worlds of Muguk, which is the universe from the 16th to the 19th dimension, and Taguk, which is a universe from the 13th to the 15th dimension, to flow wholly into the material world. The path and programs the heaven has planned in advance are implemented without an error in the non-material worlds of Muguk and Taguk. In fact, the programs that are planned, approved, and executed by the heaven very seldom produce mistakes or errors in the non-material world. However, when the heavenly plans made in the non-material world are executed in the material world, mistakes or errors are bound to occur which is due to differences in the vibrational frequency of light that are caused by significant dimensional differences between the two worlds, as well as the free wills given to the living creatures, including humans in the material world. What would happen to this universe if the will of the heaven is not wholly manifested on planets like Earth? What would happen to this universe if the planets or suns that are within the pre-planned programs of the heaven are not managed or operated under secured circumstances? What would happen to the evolution of spirit souls if their evolution programs of the material experience are implemented under the influence of human greed and desires rather than being properly managed as planned in the heaven. The complete control of the heaven implies a series of processes that eliminate various variables caused by the free wills of the intelligence living creatures, including human beings. The complete control of the heaven is implemented in the heaven's own way by energy beings who are the public servants of the heaven, maintaining a beautiful distance from humans and other living creatures. This does not mean that the heaven is implementing a thorough and perfect control over human beings down to a meticulous level. 
The complete control of the heaven does not mean the heaven controls the lives of human beings endowed with free will at any time with no rules or principles. It is the way in which the heaven manages and intervenes in human life in the way the heaven works, maneuvering between the free will of each human being and his life program pre-agreed between his original spirit and the heaven. The evolutionary roadmap of a spirit soul for gaining material experiences is planned by its original spirit and approved by the heaven. In accordance with the evolutionary path of a spirit soul approved by the heaven, the spirit soul is born to live wearing a human body through the Creator's action of creation based on its reincarnation program. The life program of a spirit soul planned in the heaven should be implemented in the spirit soul's material life without error as promised to its original spirit in the heaven. Nevertheless, from the moment of birth, humans have to live their lives oblivious of the contents of life that their spirit souls have been committed to do in the heaven. Only your original spirit and the heaven are aware of the life program to be experienced by your spirit soul in your present life. From birth, humans are born with talents and personality optimized for their upcoming lives. From the moment of their birth, humans are endowed with an optimal level of free will that is required to learn the lessons and evolve through the material experience of their upcoming lives. Everybody wants to be a hero and no one wants to become a slave. Everybody wants to be rich, but no one wants to live poor. Everyone wants to succeed, but no one wants to fail. All humans desire happiness, not misery. The free will of the human is closely associated with human hope and desire to be a hero and be rich, successful and happy. Humans learn the value of success through failures and the true meaning of happiness through misery and are allowed to enjoy abundance after experiencing poverty. Depending on the age, cosmic identity and evolutionary roadmap of the spirit soul, the content and difficulty level of the spirit soul's material experience are much varied. The heaven intervenes and participates in human lives so that the spirit souls can unfold their life programs in accordance with their reincarnation programs planned by their original spirits and the contents of those programs approved by the heaven. If one tries to become a soccer player, struggles to be a teacher, or exerts his free will keenly to become an entertainer against his pre-planned life program as a politician, the heaven has no choice but to intervene in his life through the way the heaven works. This is what it means by the complete control of the heaven. The human free will and the human life program committed in the heaven go in parallel, facing each other like two railway tracks. There exists a beautiful distance between your free will and your life program. The role of the heaven is to adjust and manage this gap between your free will and your life program and this is the reason why the heaven exists. The train called your life runs between your free will and the programs of the heaven. A beautiful distance lies 
in between the human free will and the complete control of the heaven. If this beautiful distance between these two is not maintained, what would happen to the evolution of the spirit soul and how would the universe be able to evolve? The heaven is so unkind to me. My life is not at my will at all. The heaven is so cold and indifferent to me. Why is this happening to me only? Why me? I blame the heaven entirely. What am I supposed to do? Under the human free will and the complete control of the heaven, there lie the path for human life and the path for the heaven. From the heaven's perspective, the heaven has the solutions for all problems that have occurred in the universe. What has happened in this universe is merely what has been meant to happen inevitably. This is what it means by nothing goes wrong in the universe. This is another meaning implied by the complete control of the heaven. Between the human free will and the complete control of the heaven, there are paths for humans to follow and those for the heaven to go, and this ensures the reason why the heaven must exist. 6th of January 2019, Udeka wrote, 